So do you also use India Mart to get more leads for your business? Then this video is definitely for you. So hello all, welcome back to Pabli Connect. And in this video, we are going to understand how to add India Mart leads and inquiries to Google Sheets for photography studio services. So with here, I'm managing a photography studio service and we use India Mart to get more leads for our business. And now what I want is that as soon as a new lead is received from my India Mart account, I want to add that lead details into my Google Sheets so that my sales team can follow up quickly and efficiently. So to do this, we are going to create a connection between India Mart and Google Sheets. To create this connection without knowing any programming or coding language, we are going to use Pabli Connect. It is an amazing automation software. So do you also wish to learn this process step by step? Then let me take you to my computer screen. Welcome to my screen everyone. So as you know in this video we are going to understand how to add India Mart leads and inquiries to Google Sheets for photography studio services. So as you know that this setup is perfect for businesses like us that want to organize and track their India Mart leads and inquiries effectively. With this automation new leads from India Mart can be added directly into Google Sheets which can help us manage inquiries, follow up faster and stay organized. So let's start with a simple example first so here we are going to submit this requirement details as a lead okay so let's suppose I'm going to submit an inquiry as a lead right over here I'm going to submit this and as you can see that we have successfully submitted an inquiry as a test lead okay so now what I want is I want to add these inquiry or these lead details into my Google Sheets right so yes you can see that we have successfully added these lead details right over here in our Google Sheets you can see the same inquiry which we entered has been added right over here so you must be wondering that this is so easy right so yes, this is really easy. We just have to create a connection between India Mart and Google Sheets to do this. And in order to create a connection between both of these applications, we are going to use Pabli Connect as I've already mentioned in my introduction. So to learn this process step by step, you have to see this full video. Okay. So in order to do this, we have simply opened the landing page of Pabli by searching pabli.com slash connect in my browser. It is very easy. And as soon as we're going to open the landing page of Pabli, we are going to get two options. One is sign in and the another one is sign up for free. So if you are in user you can click on sign up for free and you are going to get hundreds of tasks free every month but over here i'm an existing user so i'm going to click on sign in and as soon as you're going to click on sign in it is opening all pabli apps over here you can see all the tools and applications offered by pabli but in today's video we are going to use pabli connect because we are connecting different applications so i'm going to click on access now right over here to access my pabli connects account and as soon as we're going to click on access now it is going to open my dashboard and to start with this automation we are going to click on this button which says create workflow and now it is asking me the workflow name and the folder I want to save the workflow in so over here I want to save the workflow in this folder which says automations and I want to name my workflow as how to add India Mart leads and inquiries to Google Sheets for photography studio services and then we are going to click on create and as soon as we are going to click on create it is opening the most important window for automation which is our workflow window so this is the most important Important window because we have triggered an action on this. Trigger means when this happens, an action means do this. So by this you can understand that the trigger is the commander for the workflow and actions follow the commands. And as you know that we can have only a single commander but multiple followers. So here we can have only a single trigger but multiple actions following the commands of our trigger. And to start with our automation, we have to select our trigger application. So for my trigger application, I'm going to select it as India Mart because I want that as soon as the new lead is received from from India Mart, my workflow should be triggered or started. Okay, so for the action application, we selected India Mart, and now for the trigger event, we are going to select it as new leads. Trigger event is the event on which the workflow will start. Okay, so that's why we have selected new leads right over here. And as soon as we're going to select the trigger event, it is giving me a webbook URL. So we're going to use the same webbook URL in order to create a connection between our India Mart account and our Pabli Connects workflow. So what we're going to do is first we're going to copy this webbook URL and then we're going to follow this help text, and it is saying log in to your India Mart account, navigate to the lead manager section in the left tab. Go to import export leads from the three dots and then click on I am leads push API. So yes, we're going to follow the same. I'm going to open my India Mart account and as you can see that this is my India Mart account. And now from the left side of the bar, we have to go on lead manager and after coming on the lead manager, we have to go on those three dots, import export leads and then push API. And as soon as we're going to come right over here on the push API, it is asking me to select the source and the CRM platform name. 
so here you can see that in the help text it stated that choose other in the select source option and enter public connect in the crm platform name okay so we're going to follow the same for the source i'm going to select it as other and now for the crm platform name we are going to keep it as public connect and now it is asking me for the webbook listener url so we're going to paste the url right over here which we copied from our workflow the webbook url we are going to paste it right over here and after pasting this we are going to click on save details and as soon as we're going to click on save details it is asking me for the reason why do i wish to shift my india my leads to any another application so here i'm going to select my reason as this which is i feel that i can permanently save the leads from india mart and view later you can select any of the reason right over here and then we're going to click on this button which says click to generate otp and as soon as we're going to click on this button it is saying that otp sent successfully okay so just i'm going to enter the otp right over here and now after entering this otp i'm going to click on this button which says summit and as soon as we're going to click on summit yes you can see integration live so yes with this we have successfully created a connection between our india mart account and our pabli's workflow and now it is saying waiting for a webbook response and in the notes it is saying now do a test submission slash record so you must be wondering why it is saying me to do a test submission or record so in order to capture this webbook response we have to do this test submission or record and test our webbook url okay so what we are going to do is i'm going to open my crm push api again and we're going to go on this test your webbook listener url and over here you can see the button of test and as soon as we're going to click on this test button it has sent me a curl request header and now after receiving this curl request header this means that we have successfully did the test submission and we have successfully sent a webbook response okay so i'm going to open my workflow and check for the webbook response captured and as you can see that we have successfully captured a response right over here and after capturing this response you can see the response details you can see the subject you can see the state the pin code the phone number and the sender's name but you must be wondering that this subject is not related to our services right so over here i'm using a test india mart account that's why i received the default response right over here if you're using a live india mart account you're going to receive the details of your lead right over here which would be related to your services okay so you can see all the details received right over here over here you can see the sender city you can see the receivers mobile number you can see the product name you can see the message okay and over here you can see all the details received so yes with this we have successfully completed our trigger step and now what will happen is that as soon as a new lead is received through my endowment account automatically probably is going to capture the response and trigger this workflow okay so now further what i want is i want to add this india mart leads and inquiries to my google sheets right so for my action application i'm going to select it as google sheets so i'm going to search for google sheets right over here and as you can see google sheets we are going to select it and as soon as we going to select the action application it is asking me for the action event so here for the action event i'm going to select it as add new row because what i want is i want to add a new row right over here in my sheets right with the new lead details so that's why we have selected add new row and now we are going to click on connect and as soon as we going to click on connect it is asking me to add a new connection or select an existing connection so if you have already connected your google sheets account with your pabli's workflow you can click on select existing connection and then save but if you haven't you have to follow me click on add a new connection and now we have to click on this button which says sign in with google and as soon as we going to click on this button it is asking me to select my gmail account so over here i'm going to select my gmail account and after selecting my gmail account it is asking me for some permissions so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on allow and give pabli all the permissions it is asking for because my data is secure with pabli you can also click on allow pabli is safe and as soon as we going to click on allow yes you can see authorization successful with this we have successfully connected our google sheets account with our pabli's workflow and now it is asking me to select the spreadsheet oh hey you can see that the name of my spreadsheet is new leads and inquiries okay so this is the spreadsheet i want to create this automation so i'm going to select the same name right over here which is new leads and inquiries and as soon as i'm going to select the spreadsheet name it is asking me to select the sheet so over here i have only a single sheet in my spreadsheet so we are going to select the same right over here which is sheet 1 and now it is asking me for the name phone sender's address and inquiries so you can see that these are the same details which we have entered right over here in the columns of our spreadsheet okay so what we are going to do is we are going to enter the lead details one by one right over here which will be the same which we have received in the response of our trigger application which is india mart but we are not going to copy paste the details or enter it manually but instead we are going to map it so you must be wondering what is mapping right so mapping is a method by pabli which means inserting the data from the previous step and as you know our previous step was the trigger step where we selected india mart as our trigger application so we're going to map the details from the response of our trigger application only and as soon as we're going to map these details automatically my details will turn dynamic and change with every new response received so over here i'm going to give you an example that it is asking me for the name right so let's suppose we're going to enter the name of 
our lead right over here manually by typing it like this then this will not change with every new response received because this is static information and I have entered it manually but if you're going to map this from the previous response suppose I'm going to look for name in the previous response okay so over here you can see the sender's name so let's suppose we're going to map this from the previous response then this will definitely change because my previous response will also change so that's why we do mapping right over here to run our workflow in real time and now it is asking me for the phone number so we're here going to map the phone number of my lead so i'm going to look for phone in the previous response and as you can see sender's phone so we're going to map it and after mapping the phone number it is asking me for the sender's address okay so we're going to map the address too i'm going to look for address in the previous response right over here and you can see the sender's address which is this so we're going to map it and after mapping it it is asking me for the inquiry okay so we're going to map the query message right over here so i'm going to search for query message right over here and as you can see the same so we're going to map it and after mapping all of these details we have to click on this button which says save and send test request and as soon as we going to click on save and send test request yes you can see that we have successfully received a positive response that we have added all of the lead details into our google sheets so i'm going to open my google sheets and check for the details added and yes you can see that we have successfully added the details right over here too you can see the name the phone the sender's address and the inquiry added so yes with this we have successfully completed our workflow and now what will happen is that as soon as a new lead is received automatically the details will be added in my google sheets without any manual efforts and we don't have to come back and again to our workflow and click on save and send test request this workflow is going to run in back and we can just sit back and relax and see the details getting added in our google sheets automatically so yes this was it for the video and now i'll just summarize this workflow for you once so for the trigger application we selected india mart for the trigger event we selected new leads for the action application we selected google sheets and then for the action event we selected add new row because i wanted as soon as a new lead is received through my india mart automatically the details should be added in my google sheets so that my sales team can follow up quickly and efficiently and yes we were successful with our workflow too over here you can see the lead details are added during this video with the help of my workflow so yes if you have any questions related to the video or the workflow you can directly comment on this video and for your reference i'll just clone this workflow and share the workflow link in the description box so that you can access my workflow i hope this video was helpful for you thank you for watching so not only these applications but with the help of Pabli connect you can integrate many more applications so if you have any doubts you can reach us at support at the readpabli.com if you have any queries you can reach us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issues you can follow this website and if you find our videos helpful do like and subscribe our channel thank you for watching